Welcome to episode two of the SWOL series. This is following my documentation, I guess you would call it, uh, on the SWOL program here with the nutrition, with the mobility. Today in the program, um, since it's it's a max week, um, today's kind of a, just a core and high intense cardio. So we, we, do, we do some low intense cardio stuff, but in all our programs, there's gonna be some high intense interval training. Today's sled pushes. And I happen to know a gym that has sleds with turf on there. So we're gonna go round up a couple friends and we're gonna work out abs, sled pushes, high intensity stuff. Let's do the damn thing. Hey, you doing cardio or what? Hey man, let's do it. Let's change your shirt. I did change my shirt. Is that a medium? It's an XL. Hey, like, oh shit, you're getting bigger. Freaking huge, you know why? <laughs> you look swole. I'm on the swole program, that's why. Okay. What program are you on? What program are you doing? What program am I doing? I think he just mostly does programming. Yeah, it's developed. I'm on C++. Did you introduce him? Have you introduced him? Yeah, people know Adam. Uh, Adam Kickbush. I met him five years ago at Complete Nutrition. He owned it here in South River Road in St. George, Utah. He then sold his company, went back to school, and now he works for us. Amen. <laughs> I graduate in May. Graduate in May. And I'm done. He's the biggest programmer ever. He stands six foot two and a half inches. How tall are you? 247. Are you 6'3"? Six 6'2". Two what? You're 247? 247. If someone can stand next to Jake and not look small, if someone can stand next to Jake and not look small, he's a big lad. <laughs> Alright, second round for abs here. Working the transverse abdominal with a plank. Then we got strict toes to bar, followed up by a Russian twist. It's always more fun when you're doing it with friends. Do you know what I call the Russian twist? One. No. All right, we got a minute here. Biggest thing, pinching the glutes, keeping the elbows stationary and just flexing the abs. You don't want to sink your hips, or you don't want your hips up too high. We got core rotational punch, which is a pretty dynamic movement. As we come up here, rotate and finish off. It's gonna be an explosive movement right there. We got V-ups and then barbell rollouts. It's been a minute since I've done a real good ab workout. Definitely cardio day first round we have we're gonna use this reverse hyperextension for abs we then have side plank twist followed up by med ball slams med ball slams that's that transverse obliques just keeping everything tight it's gonna be lower abs and then we're also working obliques serratus all of that good stuff in the twist there biggest thing here keep that core tight we don't want to see sagging cores. We don't want to be, you know, nice and firm. Once that form breaks down, no more reps. Now that abs are over, the team's already conditioning. Got to jump in. There's nine. One more. Last up, best. That is ten there. <laughs> If you're not in shape, those are painful. Those are get you. Some people are asking, Steve, I'm doing the swole program. Why this kind of cardio? So you can improve your anaerobic capacity. Working out will be easy. It will cover quicker in between sets. We can then push the envelope, up our training intensity. If you up your training intensity, we either do more rest, less time, or more volume. 
Can't pick a hard workout. That uh, that's like an off day. That's just abs and cardio. We're able to train a little bit, a little bit harder. Central nervous system wise, we haven't taxed our body by doing an AM workout. We're here in the afternoon. Doing, this is the only thing so we can give it our all, knowing that we're not doing anything else today. That's why. That's why it's a six-day week split. Because some days are gonna be like this. It's gonna be tough. You're gonna have to check that ego and you're gonna have to check yourself when you wanna quit. Right around that eighth rep, you're gonna be done. That eighth sprint, you wanna call it quits. Especially when no one's looking. But it's gonna be about you and that mentality, that last step, best step mentality. If you have 10 for the day, you're not stopping at eight. You're not doing 10 at 80%. Give it, give it your all. Back at it today, guys. My abs are super, super, super tired today. I haven't done, an, I haven't done just abs like that in a hot minute. And that's really, accountability is really what is the biggest factor when doing a fitness program. You want something to be accountable, you want somebody to be accountable for or to. So we have the Facebook group, I'm posting up all these videos, updating things. Um, it's just a great way to stay on track of your goals. So we're back in here today. Yesterday was that rest day, core, hit. Today, we're maxing out. So we're gonna go through a warm up. I'm gonna max out on incline, uh, barbell press. I'm gonna max out on strict pull-ups, just as many as I can. And then we're gonna hit some shoulders, a couple back exercises, and then we also have another high intensity session on the bike though today. So nothing too major, low impact stuff. We're gonna see what we put up on this incline. Cheers. Do this one thing every day. You'll pay huge dividends, not only in the gym, but everywhere in your life. It's simple, it requires attitude and commitment. And that one thing is showing up. Show up. When you do that, when you commit to showing up, you're committing yourself to being present, to working hard. I learned this lesson when I was in college. It's my last semester, I was finishing up my biology psychology degree. And I just got through a divorce. I was no longer playing football. I was prepping for my shirt first show, working at Texas Roadhouse, and my goal for the semester was show up to every single class, every single day, no matter what. So if I had that class that day, I was gonna be in that seat. That was the promise that I made to myself. If I did that, I could live with any grade. Because what happens is when you show up, you're there, you've committed to being there, you're gonna then commit to taking notes, you're then gonna commit to studying, and all of a sudden you get this snowball, snowball effect. One thing leads to another thing. Short story, got straight A's that semester in classes that I probably had no business getting straight A's in. I just, I do remember one teacher, she was my behavioral neuroscience teacher. And I remember, because I came every day, I sat up front, and I just, every day in class, answer questions. I'm, I'm there in class at eight in the morning, I'm showing up, I might as well get my money's net worth. 
She treated me though like a straight A student, and I believe I was a straight A student. I got straight A's, made the dean's list, and I didn't have any other distractions in my life. I mean, I was prepping, prepping for a show, so all, all my meals were dialed in. I was working at Texas Roadhouse and doing that, and that was my life. Didn't go on a date, didn't do anything. So I guess in all of this, what I'm trying to say is, if you show up to the gym, even if it's for 30 minutes a day, you know, you might be driving home, be running late, and say, ah. You know, I got off work late, I can't work out today. I only have 20 or 30 minutes. But by showing up, you're creating that habit. And once you're in a habit, it's easy to maintain that. So just today, right now, whatever you're doing in life, show up. Relationships, classes, work, in the gym, show up and put forth 100% effort. And that will, that will follow. It's amazing what happens when you step foot in some place, you're then, you are then engaging in that activity. You are then putting yourself in a position to succeed. So, show up. Hashtag, show up. Hashtag, show the F up if you want, because today, you're either getting better or you're getting worse. Thank you guys for watching. We'll see you guys tomorrow.